everybody. It's Friday funny, <clears throat> funny Friday. My time right now, it's 20 after 11. So I am hoping and praying I can get up before midnight because then it's still Friday. <laughs> I apologize. It's late. It was one of those days, as you know. So I am just amazed I'm even doing it at all, to be honest. But I need to laugh. We need to laugh. So if anybody is new here, I laugh, okay? If you don't like that, it's okay to skip it. No problem whatsoever. No hard feelings. I'd rather you skip it than unsub. <laughs> um, I just go through my Insta Reels. I never know what's coming up at all. I watch them cold with you. I laugh with you. It's just usually a great time. And I just pray that Insta is good to us. So let's just get started. <laughs> My mental health these days. <laughs> That's cute. You like the direction yeah, that you really want to know. <laughs> yeah. Your mom was probably pretty normal before she had you. But then you were born, and you didn't sleep for six months, so she didn't sleep for six months, and you refused to eat. And when you did eat, you would barf all over her clothes, <laughs> and that made your mom a little crazy. And then you fell off your bike, and you broke your arm, and then you got bullied in school, and then you started dating that weird dude with the stick through his nose. And all those things made your mom a little more crazy. <laughs> And then you got married and you bought a house you can't afford and you're raising kids who never say please or thank you. <laughs> Shit, they can't even read. And all those things made your mom <laughs> super duper crazy. And now you come into my office and you go, Dr. Carl, why is my mom so crazy? And the answer is, you motherfucker, <laughs> you made your mom crazy. So be nice to your mom. You really want to know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, Chloe's a little bit mad right now because we left them out and she started to eat them. So, <laughs> so I had to take them from her. The strangest stories we've heard in quite a what? while, and we should warn you, some of the details are a little disturbing. Listen to this. A Kansas no, woman is in, in the 80s, women had a full bush down there, a full bush. 80s, full bush. 90s, landing strip. 2000s, bow. 2023, cock. <laughs> In the 80s, women had a full bush down there. A full when someone decides to test my craze and they don't understand that I made it in art form. <laughs> this poor woman. I do believe she ripped her soul from her hood, nanny. That would be the only explanation for that reaction. Because I'll tell you right now, I don't have a hood, nanny. But if you ripped my soul from my man berries... I would, I would probably fall out too. I'd probably pass my big ass out on the bathroom floor as well. So that poor girl, she need to put her soul back up her hood and never do that again. Put your soul back up and just shoot it back up and take your straw or something and go blow it in. And, uh, yeah. Don't ever do that again. Oh my God. <laughs> I've trained my man to respond to another one with glasses at him. Bitch. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Before I even get started, I just want to be very clear that I am going to be talking just the slightest amount of shit <laughs> about my 14-year-old son, okay? You might be asking, Derek, where are you? Let me tell you where I am. <laughs> I am currently in line to pick my son up from school, but guess what I just received? I received an urgent text message from said son, who should be getting him in one minute. Landon likes to tell me right now, hey, dude, totally forgot. I got a thing after school for oh. band, so I don't need you to come get me till 420. That's in 46 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Takes me 10 minutes just to get back home. I'm gonna just twiddle my thumbs for 20 minutes while I have to wait to come back and get this kid. But you know what? Yeah, absolutely, no worries, my man. I, uh, I live to serve you, my king. Anything else I can do for you? While I'm out, you need coffee? Need your, need your clothes steamed and pressed? Anything else? You fucking asshole. Who the fuck gives someone one minute's notice? Before they have shit to do. <laughs> Who does that to someone? Teenagers do. 
Teenagers sure do. Yeah. Those fucking pieces of shit. <laughs> Before I even get started, I just oh, want to be very it. clear that I... How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? Algebra <laughs> and, and, and Joan, Shingang, Shingang's password, Shanga, Ko What the hell is that? Koala. How can what you talk that? if you haven't got a brain? <laughs> Algebra. When the devil can't reach you, he says the girl... Oh, no, no. No one identifies him or herself no, as prejudiced. We all think, okay, we have a hand up. You think you're prejudiced? Yep. Against who? Well, let's see. Uh, Chevy Neons, it costs 12 grand to buy, but have $8,000 paint jobs and nine spits and time smoking weed. That's one thing. Okay, now listen. The, the term spick. That's okay. <laughs> spick. Well, see, that's really not crazy a... chink broads who don't know how to drive in the first place, and now they got cell phones stuck to their ears while they're doing 65 miles an hour down Fifth Avenue. Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. They got crazy chinks on bikes with 10 pounds of Chinese food strapped to the handlebars. Yeah. Yeah. Now, see, the word chink is what I like to call a problem word. Uh, if I were a chink, I'd rather be called a chink than a gook. Okay, now, hold on. Listen to me, please. Chinese people would not like to be called gook or chink or pan face or zipper head. Or... See, that's not... Oh, my God. I mean, Puerto Ricans, we get shafted even when it comes to racism. Chinks got what, like four ethnic slurs? We get one, spit, that's it. The Irish, they got Mick, Patty, Donkey. Italians, they got Guinea, Bob, Dago. Yeah, Spaghetti Bender. Ah, Spaghetti Bender went out of style during Sinatra's first marriage. Okay. Greaseball? Yeah, Greaseball, there you have it, that's four. That's right, you know what, same thing with the Jews, right? He, Kite, Jew Boy, Benny. Oh my Shana, God. It's fine. Yeah, and black people oh forget about it. Spear Chucker, Jungle Bunny, Raisin Head, Porch Monkey, Stork, oh Giant, Tar Baby. And oh my God. Totally. Five. Perfect. If Johnny has three apples and his friend gave him two more, how many he got? No. No, where the fuck you get fickle from? If Johnny has three apples and his friend gave him two more apples, how many apples does he have all together? Not 15 minutes, 46. Where the fuck are you 46? Hey, hey, You're not listening to hey, what I'm hey, saying. You're not paying hey, attention. Hey, I, I teach my teacher. You can't beat the... Answering to the kids. God damn! Like, come yeah, on, yeah. it's, it's simple. It's so it's simple math. Okay, son. <laughs> listen, hey, listen, son. The answer is five. So if Johnny got two apples and his friend gave him three apples, how many apples do he get? Twelve. <laughs> listen, I, maybe you ain't hear me. I say the answer is five. So if Johnny got two apples and his friend gave him three apples, how many apples do he get? Hey, oh, God, this is your shit. So listen, listen, man. this is your head, right? Get your head. Get it wrong again. So if Johnny got two apples and his friend gave him three apples, how many apples do he got? Three plus two. She got it past. <laughs> Stuck with a cluttered yard and no. Oh, no. What's this? What you mean by marriage is hard. You have to pick stuff to eat. Pick a thing for you both to eat. Every day. <laughs> multiple times a day. Every day for the rest of your life. It's relentless. You're it constantly in a state of needing to figure out what to eat. And sometimes it's a restaurant, which seems great because you can eat different things, but you have to pick the same restaurant. You have to figure out a restaurant that's open that you both like. You haven't gone to too recently. It's not too expensive. Sometimes you're home. You I cook. I do it's most true. of the cooking and I have to, you have to pick recipes that you both are willing to eat, but that also isn't too much work and you have to get <laughs> groceries. And then if you figure out that meal and you, you make the meal and you eat the meal, it's like, oh, this is so awesome. And then that moment is fleeting because right after that, congratulations. <laughs> now you have to do dishes. And I know single people eat. I get that. Uh, but when we are like temporarily single, when one of us is on vacation or whatever, the other person res reverts to being a trash goblin like i i eat over this last time she was gone i was eating over the sink i, I swallowed a whole rack of thin mints in one go like a snake i wouldn't do that when she's here you know like it's different when you have to eat in front of somebody else there has to be a plate there has to be a meal time when people say marriage is hard that's that's what we're talking about. This oh, Lord. i love i love animals i'm gonna say i want higher you got some edibles huh <laughs> Yeah, you got some my edibles. Why'd you eat that? Come oh on, why'd you, why'd you eat my edibles? 
<laughs> Why'd you eat my edibles? <laughs> you see, now you, now you feel it all messed up, huh? <laughs> huh? Is that a good feeling, Brooklyn? <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Women have five deadly terms they use. Deadly terms. Number one, fine. It's not fine. <laughs> she's basically just ending the argument. She thinks she's won, and you might as well move on from that. Okay. Number two, nothing. <laughs> that definitely means something. No one knows what it is, but just be afraid. <laughs> All right. Number three, go ahead. Yeah, don't do that. She's not giving you permission. She's basically daring you to do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Number four, whatever. That's basically a woman's way of saying screw you. Number five, that's okay. Yeah, it's not okay. And if you do it, you're going to pay later. So, okay. You know what I mean? I'll keep those in mind then. So. Hey, wait a minute. A bonus word. Wow. That's not a compliment like I first thought. That's actually her way of saying she didn't realize that someone could be so stupid. <laughs> Women have five deadly terms they use. Listen up, cupcakes. When it comes to Generation X, you really can't hurt our feelings. We were raised by Vietnam veterans as parents and World War II veterans as grandparents. And one thing is, we love our country, we love the American flag, we love our QA rights and our freedom of speech. So when all these baby boomers die or retire in office, you glitter bitches and sparkle tacos and snowflakes better buckle up because we're going to step up to the plate and you're really going to understand what it means to get your feelings fucked. Listen up, cupcakes. Listen up, cupcakes. When it comes to Mr. Roberts, your fiance didn't come. My fiance left me. So why don't we get married instead? You know, since turning 50, I've decided that there are some things that no longer serve me. So I'm going to Marie Kondo my life. What does she say? If it doesn't bring you joy, get rid of it. This is the list of shit that... One is uncomfortable pants. Those fuckers gotta go. I just want to wear like sweatpants or pajamas. In the event that I actually have to wear clothes to something, if they are not stretchy, I'm out. Counting calories. What's the point? I gain weight just by looking at food. Why should I count those little bitches? People. Do I need to say anything else? It's just a no. Arguing with idiots. Really arguing with anybody, but mostly idiots. Driving at night. I don't know when, but somewhere, somehow, the dark got darker. I don't like it. It stresses me the fuck out. Winter. I never did like that motherfucker, but now that I'm 50, I like him even less. He's got to go. <laughs> Invitations to anything. And I do mean anything. Waiting to drink until after 5.30. Who the fuck made up that rule? <laughs> Lastly is giving a shit what people think about me. Life is short. Find your joy. You know, since turning 50... She got an exquisite pussy. Well, how about my exquisite erection, huh? The Simpsons did it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Are they real? It's delicious. You should try yeah. some. <laughs> okay, okay, you don't want wet food. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna try and pet you again, nice and soft, like yeah. you. Okay, 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 okay. Is there anything that I can do? Yeah. Katie, I need you to work with me. Somehow we have to get. <laughs> but the secret that I don't think anybody actually tells a father is that in many cases, it's actually. Come on, my back. Sneezing at one part away from paralysis.
When you go to the bathroom, especially tonight, like it's date night for some of you. I'm gonna end up getting a copyright with that one. Here's your song, come on, Philly. All right, wives, gather around. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm gonna let you in on something that we have hidden from you for centuries. When you randomly ask us, hey, what are you thinking about? And we say nothing. That's probably a lie. Now, don't get me wrong. It is an actual option, but it's just probably not what we're thinking about. What we're thinking about probably falls within one of three categories that we just don't feel like explaining or can't explain in present company. Category one is usually something random, like wishing Costco had an ammunition section because then it would be the ideal place to occupy and defend during a zombie apocalypse. Category two usually has something to do with one of our interests. 50-50 chance, it's Rome. And the category three is usually when we uh, trigger some sort of memory of that thing you wore with the heels and the corset and, you know, wondering if that's going to come out again. So, yeah, that's probably the three categories. It's uh, random, Rome, and um, rated R. All right, wives, gather around. I can't control where the city fucking puts it. It's trash. Oh, how about that? I got that on recording, too. Sure did. <laughs> Dude, Karen's going wild. I can't control where the city fucking puts it. In. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> how this is not taught? How's this not taught in school? What is this? What? No. Are you serious? That's phenomenal! Oh my god. Bonus wing. Flesh flap. Oh my god. Alternative name. Driving lesson with Tourette's. Let me in, Elon, you fat bastard. What? Elon Muscapan. <laughs> Morning. You fucking bastard. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Are you calling me in, Bridge? You in, Bridge? <laughs> Elon Musk, that was the one that hurt the most. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Wasn't he prepared for that? Mm. Your dad gives it to Lorraine Kelly up the bum. Oh my god. A carrot. What is she doing? Is that all for you? <laughs> it's fucking yeah. I'm walking away. More cheese. More cheese. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Who the fuck does that? <laughs> oh no, I'm going here. She's gonna get me. <laughs> Give her more cheese. That's funny. No, the day bleeds into nightfall. Is eigenlijk het juiste woord? Excuse me. Oh, geloof is eigenlijk het juiste woord. Hier hanteert. Omdat. The girl just kicks his butt. Oh my god. I better not get a copyright for that. What happens when you raise your kids wrong? Mom! <laughs> I need it! I do! TV! Oh my god! Don't you dare! Oh my god! Oh, with the bed! Wait! That's it! With the bed! That's it! Listen to me! Don't break the TV! Oh my god, god no! Are you gonna are you gonna buy me a new one? No! no. Are you gonna buy me a new one? No! Nope. You're not gonna buy me a new one? <laughs> what a shithead! See what happens? Uh oh! No, 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 no,
And we would get up early and grab a bowl of cereal and flop our ass down in front of that television and wait for the best cartoons ever to come on. <laughs> the cartoons that were so epic, you didn't care if you watched the same episode a hundred yeah. times. Because we had the classics. We had Bugs Bunny and the Looney Tunes. The Smurfs, the Flintstones. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry. E-Man, Thundercats, and G.I. Joe. Just to name a few. <laughs> and we didn't care about the commercials like kids do today. That was prime time for running to the bathroom or to the kitchen to get a Pop-Tart or some more Captain Crunch. <laughs> it was a race against the clock to see if you could get your ass back in front of that television before your show came back on. We didn't have any rewind. Not only that, our commercials had talking M&Ms, the Trix Rabbit, and the Kool-Aid Man. Pure fucking magic. How <laughs> the networks think that we grew up or something? Newsflash, assholes. We didn't. We still want our Saturday morning cartoons, but with coffee and mimosas now. Bring back the one day that made us forget about all the dumb shit that we did during the week. Bring back the cartoons that made us laugh, cry, and beg for more. The ones that made our childhood worth remembering. Because the cartoons that are on TV today are just fucking stupid. <laughs> we just miss the good old days of Saturday morning. Better be <laughs> Watch this video with me as Pete Holmes for I just checked my voicemail. Wow, what's wrong? I got a message from my nephew teacher. What? My sister's gonna kill me. Babe, they What's saw up, I put my little nephew in special ed. Hey. Oh. Hey. I've been doing his homework, y'all. <laughs> What's wrong? I just checked my voice, man. That's hilarious. You wanna go with these babies? What? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Say it slow. <laughs> you wanna go with these babies? Why you keep saying it so fast? <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. <laughs> you want to go for King Marcus? Wow. <laughs> That's the only thing I understand. What King Marcus? I want to walk. Okay. Hey, I need to go outside. Can you go outside? Yeah. Can you go outside? I said that. Do you? Please yeah, turn the camera off with all these stupid questions. You need to? Really? What you do? You fell asleep in your kitty litter? You probably need to go take a bath. <laughs> No, you did not know. I know you did. Oh, no, 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 you do, you lift your tail up. Oh, you lie. No, you lift your tail up and you rub your butthole on the head. I can't do that. No, you're not supposed to do that. I can't. You're not supposed yes, to I can't. Oh, yeah. oh I do I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. You want to get one of these babies? What? That's funny. No! <laughs> chuckle i know i did i feel so much better <laughs> oh i love it okay i will see you next friday same time same place it's a date <laughs> okay bye